over four nights starting Thursday, September 21st, an Alaska scientist will try to create his own artificial aurora that could be visible as far away as Yukon. Now the experiment is out of the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, or better known as HARP, Observatory at Gokona, Alaska, and is planned for 9.30 p.m. to start that evening. Chris Fallen, an assistant researcher professor at the Geophysical Institute of University of Alaska, Fairbanks, will attempt to create the artificial air glow in the sky. It's sometimes called the artificial aurora or radio enhanced aurora or radio enhanced air glow, Fallen said. What that means is that powerful radio waves from the ground from a facility like HARP can make the sky glow. Fallen is investigating which transmissions make the artificial roars the brightest. The reason why certain types of radio wave transmissions cause the upper atmosphere to glow the same colors as the natural aurora is a process that's not very well understood, he claims. Knowledge gathered from Fallon's experiment could also help better understand the natural aurora. It should also provide information on how communications between satellite and the Earth are affected by the ionosphere. This would be important for navigation applications, Fallon said. If conditions are clear, people in Whitehorse and Dodson City, Yukon, will have a good chance of snapping photos of the artificial aurora. In the north, your best chance of observing the artificial aurora is actually to take pictures of it, he said, explaining the glow may be too low for the naked eye to see. The success of his experiment will involve a good bit of luck, with the weather being a major factor, Fallon said. Observation efforts in the past have been hampered due to cloudy conditions, he noted. This time, he'll postpone the experiment if the weather doesn't cooperate. Aside from taking pictures, people who own a standard shortwave radio will be able to tune in to hear the radio frequency that creates the lights. Fallen expects it will sound something like a fax machine. What do you think? Is Chris Fallen using harp to simply create auroras? Or is there something more sinister going on that has something to do with, for example, Hurricane Maria out in the Atlantic Ocean? Could this be a cover story? All I know is, is harp has been used for weather modification before. So why wouldn't they be trying to use that for the same thing right now? Anyway, leave your comments below the video. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. Thanks for watching.